Hey everybody, I am doing a one year plus review of my Harbor Freight panels that we had mounted on my truck. Okay, pardon the traffic there. Currently, we're going to be taking that impact lane right down there and that those wheels and putting them on this salvage trailer. So you're gonna to get to see what it does. So I'll get you a little close up there so you can see how dirty those panels are. They're very dirty. You see that? And even with the dirt on them, this is why the amorphous panel continues to produce. These things start charging at about 7.30 in the morning and don't stop until the sun's almost over the horizon. So let's give you a review. One year, are they worth it? Let's go see. And we're going to look and we're going to see that currently the battery voltage is, as the controller is designed to run, 14.1 volts. It's putting out fine. The controller has not failed. There hasn't been any issues. And think about that. These dirty, dirty panels. Let me get up here and show you right quick what I mean. When I say dirty, I mean dirty. Very filthy. Just, tra uh, just a heavy layer of dust, bird droppings on them and the panels continue to produce at that rate. Right now, even on idle, you can see here what they're putting out. If I can get that in focus. 3.38 amps. It has had a 179 watt peak. Now, the, the amorphous panels will do that. They will out peak. They will do a way higher peak than what they're rated at. And it's currently 47 watts coming in just because I've hit the trigger on the uh, um, impact a few times. So if you look over here, you'll see what their watt hours, what they're rating at, and what they've been doing. So it gives you a little data recorder. And anybody interested in these, I'll put a link at the bottom of my video as well as for other stuff that I use. Look at the bottom of the video, you know, uh, your big fuse blocks, other items. So we're gonna be running this big 900 watt, um, seven amp plus, impact now that is going to be running off of this peak slash potec inverter they no longer sell these looking like this one this one's about five years old and it was apparently so good and they sold so many of them at about 240 dollars a piece that now everywhere you go they want 350 400 dollars for them go figure you know but this same inverter right now um, is also sold as a P-O-T-E-K, and I'm gonna put you a link down at the bottom of the video where the new Potex are at, and it's even better than this one. So it has dual set meters and all that, and has more USBs, has, you know, has more stuff on it, and it's better, it's actually better, a little better uh, internal. So what you're looking at is you're looking at a modified plus sine wave. So instead of big square blocks like that, that a motor don't like, electric motors get hot, it has little notches, like stair steps, a little flat spot, and then notches all the way back down and repeat the cycle. So it's more mimicking a true sine wave and definitely not a straight across square wave. So it, it's, my refrigerator likes this. We put, we've hauled uh, deer and stuff in the back of this truck, loaded down freezers, two, two freezers in here, and they ran off of this, never had a problem. And we were going eight days on that. So um, what we're working on now is we've got some regular trailer wheels. And we've got this old shitty trailer that, that um, it's an old 66 model. And we're, we're uh, recycling it. So it's got a Snowy River frame. It is completely trashed out. We have to get in here and get rims under it because the wrecker guy drops them off. And when they get dropped off, they get dropped off just like they said. So um, I get these for free. The record company don't want them. You can contact your record company near your house and say, hey man, you got some old RVs? They'll bring them to you. They don't want to house them. They don't want to put them on their lot. So we're going to take these tires and put on it so that we can tow it to the tear apart area. And just your basic um, wheels. I get these wheels for about 25 to $30 a piece. These kind of wheels here, four on five and a half standard trailer rim, 15 inch. So let's get this hooked up. And we're going to show you off of the truck. You can follow the wire on back. Get it out from under Preston's butt there. We are running off solar. Solar for installing these rims. 
Let's see what we get out of it. This is a handy setup. Electric chainsaws, you name it, you can run it all. Cutting up big wood piles with electric chainsaws, ain't nothing better. All right, so let's get to it. Get our power system up and running. All right, now Daniel's over there running the impact, pulling the wheels off. And he is using this. I have my pit crew sitting over here right now, removing the wheels and tires on this thing. And his kid loves this damn thing. So it's gonna show you that you can do this with this kind of a setup. It's not that hard. So one of the things that you'll learn is that a little bit of solar power goes a long ways if you're not going to be running a tool constantly. Not bad for an 11 year old kid, huh? All right, so what we're dealing with now is Kira's gonna roll the rim over and get it ready. All right, and then we're gonna get over here and he's gonna get the bolts put back in. I'm gonna help him get it centered up. This is just gonna show you what you can do. I mean, you can run circular saws, chainsaws. I mean, you're not gonna sit there and run a chainsaw just wide open nonstop. So 100 watts of solar do you quite a bit of justice in that kind of situation. But you'll see here that it doesn't take a whole hell of a lot. I think that's something my Craftsman extension has got more slop in it than my, than my uh, carbon crate. That's nuts, ain't it? Here we are, and he's gonna go ahead and torque them all down. And this gives you an idea of why a one year was necessary. We've used this on lots of RVs out here, lots of them. I've got about 15 of them that we get through the recycling process. And you can see here, every time he hits that trigger, that there is a nice power draw and the solar is replacing it because although it's running 900 watts, it's running 900 watts for just that short period of time. But we're getting a constant wattage coming in. We haven't even put a dent in the batteries. So I would say that the wattage, that the voltage hasn't even needed to increase, see? So the panels have kept the batteries very hot and for dirty panels, a year and two, three months after I put these things on, I guess, I'd have to look at my date on it. Still running like a dream. All right, guys, Harbor Freight Panels, 150 bucks comes with everything. Get a coupon, get them for 139. I mean, hell, you can't beat that. Excellent for like service work.